Now we go live back to Turkey eh, to see this inauguration ceremony of the president-elect Recep Tayyip Erdogan. Let's see. In this moment, the mounted troops, the mounted military troops are parading accompanying the president-elect Recep Tayyip Erdogan. This is one of the main highlights, the main points, the main events of this inauguration ceremony agenda that comprises several ceremonies and activities in all Ankara, throughout Ankara. Uh, priorly, we saw his taking of oath, the oath of office by the President Recep Tayyip Erdogan in the premises of the Parliament. Then he went to the mausoleum of the leader, the founding leader of Turkey, uh, Ataturk. Also there, he took the floor and he was expressing some ideas. Let's review these ideas. First and foremost, he said the uh, help, the assistance, to the victims of the earthquake of February the 6th was on top of his agenda. As we know, these uh, two earthquakes caused the loss of life, massive loss of life in Turkey and also in Syria. About 50,000 people were killed in these massive earthquakes and also the damage in infrastructure to the buildings and to uh, other um, uh, resources of Turkey was uh, intense, was really, really felt. But the president is now proposing a, a, an aid plan, an assistance plan that is going to be on top of his agenda, as he was saying during this speech, during these remarks. Also among his, uh, his main promises was to respect the sovereignty of the people of Turkey, the integrity of the people of Turkey. And this is the main promise in the times of this armed conflict in Ukraine between Russia and Ukraine. And also as the, uh, as the Turkish Republic is one of the, the main NATO uh, members, counting with the second largest army in NATO. And even though is one of the mediators, the main mediators in this conflict. All of this may be threatens, maybe puts in question the integrity and the sovereignty of Turkey, but this is one of the main promises of Erdogan to defend these values of his people and the values of his country. He also paid a match to uh, the leader of Turkey, the founding father of Turkey, we were saying this, at the Turk, and as we know it, as we know it, uh, this is one of the main spots, the hotspots, the sites, the, the backbone core uh, sites in Ankara regarding history and regarding politics and culture. The president is now entering the premises of the presidential palace, the presidential complex, and also this, uh, this site where he is going also to, uh, is expected to reshuffle and to uh, re-elect a cabinet. Let's remember in these uh, elections where he was re-elected as president, it was also a general election. So the members of the parliament were re-elected and now he's going to choose, he's going to pick his ministers to work alongside them in this new term of his office, in this new term that he's uh, promised to rebuild and to address the main domestic issues of Turkey. One of the main issues to be addressed by the president is the current situation of the Syrians living in its territory and also the effects of inflation, of worldwide inflation, in the aftermath of COVID-19 pandemic and one of the top regional issues that is the conflict in Ukraine. Let's recall that um, several Eurasian nations have been involved and have been impacted by the conflict. Ankara, uh, Istanbul in this case, also have been impacted, but um, in its role as mediator has had a key role. A key, it has come to play in the regional politics and the regional economy. First and foremost, let's remember Turkey and Hungary have both nations the power to green light or veto the ascension to NATO of other new members like Sweden, like Finland, and like um, other countries that are aspiring to join the alliance. This is uh, one of the, the main actions of Turkey in the conflict, to prevent the, the uh, ascension or to mediate in the ascension of these countries 
to reconsider, to ponder how this could affect Russia and how this could affect the current conflict and the current politics and the possible eruption of more conflicts and of more warring actions. Also, in the economy, thanks to Turkey, thanks to President Erdogan and his power, his will as mediator, also several countries, not only in the region but also in the world, have been receiving foodstuffs and supplies from uh, Ukraine and also from Russia through the Black Sea Grain Deal brokered by the UN and mediated and convened by the President of Turkey, Recep Tayyip Erdogan. Thanks to this deal, tons of wheat and tons of fertilizers coming from Ukraine and Russia respectively have been arriving and have been getting to the main destinations, to African countries in dire need of this kind of assistance and to other parts of the world that also uh, are preventing a food crisis thanks to the mediation of Turkey and thanks to the mediation of uh, the president of Turkey, Recep Tayyip Erdogan. Let's also review other aspects of this re-election and of this um, ceremony of inauguration of the president, Recep Tayyip Erdogan. He took the oath of office, received with a standing ovation in the premises of the parliament. He was received with by the lawmakers there, who were also uh, listening to his remarks as he took the oath of office. Then he attended the uh, ceremonies of honor and homage and tribute to the founding father of Turkey at the Turk in his mausoleum, the mausoleum dedicated to this figure. Let's remember that this is one of the main sites regarding history, regarding culture, and regarding politics in Turkey. This is a, one of the main tourist destinations in Ankara and also is a place of remembrance, is a place of uh, remembering the founding fathers and the uh, foundations also of this republic. The president then was uh, laying a wrath in honor of Ataturk and also he had a moment of respect, of silence, and we were listening to the national anthem of Turkey that was performed there by the, um, the army band. Now we are going to a, a brief pause, a brief break, but we will have more details regarding this inauguration ceremony in Turkey in upcoming news briefs. Please, as always, stay with us.